Are you ready to break the forgetting cycle with Spiral Review by Get More Math? This video will show you how our Spiral Review saves teachers time and increases long-term proficiency for math students in grades three through 11. Here's what to expect for the next 10 minutes. First, we will dive into the experience of both the teacher and the student. We'll also show how assessments in GMM provide targeted practice based on the results. And finally, you'll learn everything you need to know about our free school year pilot and the steps required to launch a pilot at your campus. So let's get started. Inside the teacher app, we have three tabs across the top. The first tab is where we create our classes and manage the various reports associated to each class. The work tab is where we can build assignments and exams. The reports tab is for our administrative users to view usage data at the district, school, class, teacher, or student level. But for now, let's focus on the work tab. Imagine I'm planning to teach a lesson on like terms. Here's how I would create an assignment for my students. You'll notice in the center that I have access to all grade levels, so I can easily grab practice from above or below my assigned grade level. Across the top, I have several collections to choose from. Skills can be organized by topic, state standards, a unit guide that mimics the outline of a standard textbook, or our NWEA map growth collection. This collection provides a vertical alignment at each grade level based on your map growth scores. Today, I'm going to look for the skills inside my state standards. To ensure I like the skill I found, I'm going to cycle through several options. Our skills are dynamically generated so your students will never repeat the same problem. I will add a skill that includes only one variable as well as one that includes two. I can adjust the points required for my students. Points are earned when students answer questions correctly on the first try. I'll set the points required for each targeted skill to three while increasing the spiral review requirement to 10. Now each student will need to get 16 problems correct on the first try, six from the targeted skills on like terms, and 10 from the previous content in spiral review. Teachers can now assign the assignment to one or all of their classes immediately or in the future. Here's the assignment from the student's perspective. In the center of their screen, you'll see the title, like terms. The math problems are shown on the right and smileys fall when a student answers a question correctly. The squares on the left represent skills assigned by the teacher. The top section marked targeted skills highlights the skills chosen specifically for this assignment. Here you can see the six point requirement, three points for each skill that I set earlier. In the spiral review section, each square represents a skill from a previous assignment. Note the 10 point requirement here and the total 16 point requirement at the top. As students work through the assignment, both they and their teacher receive immediate feedback on progress. Once our student answers a question correctly on the first try at least three times, they will see the skill level up to a yellow rating. Let's take a moment and explore what each color signifies in Get More Math. White squares represent brand new skills and remain white until enough data is gathered to make a determination on the student's level of understanding. White squares will turn red if a student demonstrates no understanding. Teachers can quickly identify red squares to see which skills a student is struggling with most. Yellow signifies initial understanding as shown earlier. Green skills are proficient. Skills turn green when students demonstrate understanding over multiple days or sessions. Silver and gold stars mark our highest proficiency levels, earned through weeks of successful practice in spiral review. To keep the focus on what matters most, Get More Math places a dollar sign on the skills deemed most necessary for practice. The selection of skills and corresponding dollar signs are unique for each student. Skills that are fairly new or consistently weak will be included frequently in a student's spiral review to build proficiency. But that alone is not enough. 
to maintain the proficiency of their stronger and older skills, those problems will be included in their spiral review occasionally. Teachers can feel confident knowing that every time their students practice in spiral review, they are viewing a customized selection of skills designed specifically to support their needs. If you liked our practice, you're going to love our exams. Teachers can easily build a variety of assessments using the skills inside Get More Math. Assessments can vary in size from a short weekly quiz to a unit test or even a cumulative benchmark. After an exam is completed, Get More Math will automatically report the results of each question and the overall grade to the teacher. Next, in order to address the areas of weakness identified by the exam results, GMM creates what is called a corrections assignment. Let's see what that looks like for this student. They've missed five of the 20 questions on the exam. The corrections assignment includes the exact exam questions that were missed, along with the student's incorrect answers. Once the student has corrected every mistake, they are prompted to do extra practice with similar problems on each of the five skills they missed. Once the corrections assignment is completed, the student has the opportunity to demonstrate the growth they've made by taking what we call a follow-up test. The follow-up test is designed specifically for each student to include only the skills they missed on the original exam. Teachers can clearly see the original test results compared to the improvements made through the corrections and follow-up process. Can you imagine the time it would take for teachers to create a test, grade the test, create a unique assignment for every student based on their results, create an individualized retest for every student and do all the grading? Get More Math does it all, saving teachers time while integrating assessments into the learning process. Are you ready to talk about our free pilot offer? Now that you've seen just a small piece of what Get More Math has to offer, you're likely wondering how you can bring the free pilot to your campus. It's quite simple. We have two requirements, training for teachers and timely check-ins with administrators. In order for teachers to keep their year-long access open, they are required to complete three trainings over the course of the year. Each training is 30 minutes in length. Teachers can choose between attending a group training session live with a Get More Math trainer or viewing a pre-recorded session on their own. Each pilot must designate an administrator to meet with their GMM account manager three times throughout the course of the year. This role may be filled by a principal, instructional coach, or math department head. These check-in meetings are essential to the success of the pilot as they allow us to assess student and teacher progress and ensure timely completion of training. Once your teachers and administrators understand and agree to these terms, you are all set to get started. Your campus will have unlimited access through July 31st, 2026, with absolutely no commitment to buy at the end of your pilot. To get started, simply have your administrator send us an email at info at getmoremath.com and put we want to pilot in the subject line. Your students will be spiral reviewing in no time.